I'm catching you guys right after my work day. To start off, my Sylvia is on the rack. It's been a while since I've lifted the Sylvia up and taken a look at uh, kind of what's wrong, actually. I was planning on doing a coolant flush today, but I realized I have another leak, so I need to address the two leaks before I waste money on coolant, if I do do that. <laughs> I believe that's for another day. Here's an update on my engine and how it's going. I have it down to the bare bones. I hear someone. Let's open it up. Whoa! Dang, Brandon's here. This is a RC car that Brandon just got up and running. He 3D printed his wheels and tires. Our triple eight R's. Yep. <laughs> What? <laughs> that RC car right there was looking like this. Oh my god, what? Peace out to Brandon in the background. Guys, this is why you have awesome friends. I have Brandon and he recommended that I showcase everything wrong with my car. It may seem that my car is in pretty good shape and pristine but in reality there is flaws from everyday wear and tear i mean this car was in japan at one point and the weather over there i'm pretty sure salt water got to the car and destroyed whatever it could um, until i went to california let's just start off with the car sitting down like this and then we'll lift it up first things first <laughs> there is Two coolant leaks. In order to heat my car up, there is two hoses going to the heater core inside. There's the hose right there. That's where my coolant leak is coming from. I'm gonna try a couple solutions before I do a coolant flush like I was today. This one may be a little bit hard to see, but if you look down there, there's a little bit of green. So that is the color of my coolant and there's another leak. <laughs> My engine bay definitely is not the prettiest either. On top of that, this engine is non-turbo. These Sylvias came in three different models. I have what's called the Q's. Out of the three, Q's stands for queen. There's one base model right below mine called J's, which stands for joker. <laughs> then there's the last one, the one that everyone wants, which is top of the line, turboed and everything, K's. So that stands for King. I thought it was pretty amazing how they named these cars after some cards. Now, here's the goodies that no one gets to see. I feel like my front suspension game is weak at the moment. I have GK Tech Roll Center Correction and BC coilovers right about there. Those are nice additions, but I do plan on making a suspension overhaul soon. Can you hear that? So this tie rod end is kind of shot. I definitely got to replace that. I'm really hoping that didn't mess up the hubs because if it did, I have to replace that too. The whole front suspension is definitely going to be touched in the near future. Let me tell you why, because this car is going to Grange soon, and since it's going to Grange, the car has to be in top-notch condition. I cannot have any coolant leaks, oil leaks, any of that. The drive itself is going to be a couple hours. I got to drive there, rip it, and drive back. Let's see, what else do we got here? Everything else is good, but right here, see this oil? There's oil coming between the engine and trans. I do have to drop the tranny soon. I've been really meaning to do this. Gotta drop it, see if it's coming from the engine side or tranny. When I do get to dropping the tranny, I plan on getting a welded diff. And that's for good reason. I already know when I have the car at the height I want to, a welded diff will come in handy because I won't ever get stuck in a driveway. Don't look at it, but axle grease everywhere oh that is disgusting
that's definitely the reality of getting an old Japanese car. Japan doesn't really have the best weather for cars, especially if it's held outside. Other than that, that is really all that's wrong with my car. Not too bad, right? I'm just kidding. If you take a close look, I'm talking a really close look. That is horrible. Yep, I do have rust on my car. When I get my kit ready, a rear valence will cover literally all of this. So I'll be good, but I'm definitely gonna sand this down, get all of that rust off and protect it properly. Um, even if I go over here, there is a rust spot exactly down here oh. you could imagine too when I saw that I was devastated it really doesn't affect me now because I, I already have the car when I did go look at the car it was nighttime I was excited I did the best I could when looking if you guys didn't know I bought the car and had to do the head gasket because I didn't take a close enough look that it was either leaking a lot of coolant or already had a head gasket leak to top everything off, when I brought it home the next day in sunlight, I saw that rust spot. It's okay though, it really is. I absolutely love this car. Definitely a lot to address and work on. I hope you guys stick around and uh, stay tuned for all that is to come with the Sylvia. It'll get there for sure. This week was kind of a struggle getting to film a video. I couldn't decide on what to film and even what to work on, like car related. Since I do have one primary car that I work on and adjust things, it's kind of hard to come up with content. I really am thankful for having friends that support me and help me come up with these awesome ideas. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and thank Brandon for coming up with that idea and inspiring me, motivating me to put out a video. I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the flaws and realities of owning a old Japanese car. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.